This video is showing you how to set up Netis E3 as a repeater by using your computer or smartphone. Plug Netis E3 in the power outlet close to your main router. Wait for 30 seconds. Let E3 start up. Open your Wi-Fi setting on your computer or smartphone, looking for the wireless signal name, starting with Netis, followed by six random digits and ending by 2.4G or 5G. Connect to this wireless network and no password is required. After this wireless network shows connected, open web browser, and in the address bar, please type 192.168.0.254. Then press enter. After welcome page pops up, select your language, if needed. Now you can set up your expender's admin password. The password has to be at least 8 characters including numbers or letters. Please select repeater as operating mode, then click next. The next page, you will find all available wireless networking around you. Please select the main router's SSID you would like to connect. Then click connect. Input the password, which is your main router's password. Then the next couple of lines, you can set up your extender's wireless name on 2.4G and 5G respectively. Then click extend. Your repeater setup is completed. Your extender's password is all the same as your admin router's password. Move E3 to the right spot. Ideally, E3 should be placed in the middle of your main router and place you have poor signal. After plug E3 on the power outlet, the signal light should become solid blue. This means it is a good location. If you see the signal light is red, it means the E3 location is too far from main router, please move it closer. Now you can connect your computer or smartphone to extender's wireless network and eliminate the dead zone. Thank you for purchasing Netis products.